hello friends in this video i'm going to share with you that how you can make a program to find out if the number is palindrome or not so what is a palindrome number as you can screen see on your screens a palindrome number is a number which is equal or same on both sides like uh, from forward as well as from backward if we have given the input like 245 it is not same as 542 so it is not a palindrome number similarly goes with another number another input 12321 and it is equal from both the ends so this is our palindrome number now in this program we are going to make a palindrome number for this you know what you have to do is first you need to make one class give it a name click over public static white main because you want to include this method so as usual I need to have a user input here because I want to ask the user for the number so let's import util package here And ask the user for the number enter the number to find if it is palindrome or not So everything looks good till now. So let's move to the next. Now what you have to do is you have to make an object of scanner class. store this variable somewhere like I usually use F for this variable you can use your own variable as I'm going to take here an integer variable integer number so I'm using integer variable here so till now what I've done is I have received an input from user which has been stored in a variable name as so I want to have another variable say let's take it j and initialize it to 0 and I want another variable n which I'm going to save as why I've done this because uh, for palindrome number what you have to do is you need to find the reverse of the number so if I'm having a number like 245 I need to find the reverse of a number like from the last digit so that can only only be done uh, if we use modulus with um, 10 or division with 10 that the logic which we use in reverse of a number so for that thing I have taken n here because I want to compare two numbers later on so for comparison I will be using s which we I will compare with the result so I don't want to change anything in s that's why for the safer side I have taken n you can also use s here if you can if you are like comfortable using it so what next you have to do is I am using here while loop why because I want to check here that my number n should remain greater than 0 till the time my loop is working so what I have to do here is I have to take one another variable let's take it reverse because I want to find reverse here I can find reverse by finding the modulo with 10 
and what next I have to do is I have to divide this number n with 10 because I want to have the result here what happens here I am going to receive the remainder here I am going to receive the result of division <clears throat> so what next we need to do is we just need to uh, have uh, you can say we have to just click the number form backward like for example I have 1 2 3 2 1 here I need to click the number from backwards like from here 1 2 3 2 1 to make a complete number something like this so for that I am using variable j which I have already initialized here in j what I am going to do is something like this j 10 multiply j plus reverse please look at very carefully what I have done here is I have simply done something like this that I have taken j here which will be having which will be having the final result ok so what I have done is as I am going I am using loop here while loop here so it will be storing the previous result with previous result I want to add my next number or next digit which I will receive from here fine so what next you can do is you have to compare it now I know my final result is in J so I want to compare it with my first input which I have received from user so what I'm going to do is if j is equals to equals to s what it should print number is palindrome else number is not palindrome So now save your file here. Uh, yeah, I'm getting warning here because I forgot to close again scanner object. Close it right here after all the usage. Save it again. Now it's gone. Now execute it. Enter the number to find out if it's palindrome or not. So what we have given earlier, uh, we have given 245, let's give it 245, number is not palindrome, good, it's working, now let's rerun it for 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, number is palindrome, good, now let's rerun it for some other number, uh, something like um, 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, 3, again the number is not palindrome. I hope this program is clear to you. If you have any doubt, you can uh, put it in your comment section. For now, thank you.